Bangladesh is one of the world's most densely populated countries and also one of its poorest. Almost half of the population live on less than one dollar a day and almost two-thirds of these are women. Because of the cultural restrictions, women also lag behind their male counterparts in all spheres. In keeping with CEDA supported strategies to stimulate economic growth in developing countries and the Bangladeshi government's push for the development of women as key to the reduction of poverty, in 2005, Canada's Humber College partnered with the Bangladeshi Women's Chamber of Commerce. The goal of the project is to reduce poverty uh, and also decrease the vulnerability for women by helping them start, maintain and grow small businesses. Girls or women in Bangladesh actually are not free. I can go out at any time. I can eat according to my wish, but my wife cannot. It cannot be. When I decide doing business, I have faced a lot of problems and difficulties. Sometimes uh, my husband uh, very angry with me why uh, I want to uh, do something and business and uh, my husband is not like I do this type of work and my mother and father also. In Bangladesh women are uh, progressing for last couple of decades but still there is a long way to go in the area of economic empowerment women are still lagging behind. Women have no money, women have no land, no property, no resource, then they, uh, they have no power. The philosophy behind microcredit was that the poor people can never go and access the finance. So microcredit actually enabled them to uh, have money. There are many women who have never touched money before the microcredit has reached their hands. We believe that economic empowerment is the best mark or base to develop empowerment. Access to property is the big thing. Access to money. Money means power. In 2001, the Bangladeshi Women's Chamber of Commerce was established to help women gain a foothold in the business world. Its president and co-founder is Salima Ahmed. Our uh, <clears throat> mission was to uh, give a platform for women entrepreneurs uh, to promote their businesses. There are many agencies who are offering training to women, mostly skill development, but the WCCI and some others, they are offering training in the area of entrepreneurship uh, development, entrepreneurial traits uh, development. In order to increase women's participation in the economy, it is necessary to give them access to the skills and information they will need to succeed. Women entrepreneurs don't know they make a product. They don't know where to sell it because they have not studied it. They don't know what is called mar market intelligence. They have never uh, calculated the price the way that it should be. The Humber partnership with BWCCI was created to answer these types of needs. Humber faculty would go overseas and deliver training workshops in how to be an effective trainer and how to develop uh, content for training modules to help women start their businesses. Part of the project was to develop a business support center at BWCCI for women entrepreneurs to come in and they could look at entrepreneurship resources. They had access to computers and the internet and also for there to be business counselors there. They could kind of use their skills and assist maybe one or two or a small group of women, for example, and give counseling specific information, specific questions that these women entrepreneurs may have had. For example, in something like bookkeeping skills. We knew that this is 
one area now we, where we need to really work out because in Bangladesh the entrepreneurs which are our members they need training they need to build their capacity because they lack in in so many fields. Uh, Selima Ahmed uh, f first told me I would like to get you involved with uh, Humber project. Do you like to be interested to be a co-trainer? I grab it. Yeah, it's good for me. Bangladesh is agricultural country and women uh, more or less involved with agri activities. But they don't know this kind of agri activities can be a business. If you do anything, even though it is for agri produce, if you do it properly and if you get the produce uh, nicely uh, for value addition and if you sell it, it's called business. When I joined BWCCI, I heard ki some Canadian come to Bangladesh and uh, give some training and uh, design and color combination. I had um, the wonderful opportunity to go into the um, various different businesses of the women that were members of the BWCCI. So I'm very interested and uh, I joined the Humber training. They give some training how to get uh, European design and pattern and international market and uh, how to talk buyer and client. Chanu, she has this wonderful open smile and, you know, not to be afraid to um, greet people, shake their hands and smile at them and look eye to eye. Now I'm very confident in how to talk my buyer, my client. First I go to uh, Rank's office, uh, my Bravia carpet, then I remember their training and I just, uh, same type uh, acting, okay, then, and I'm doing very good. In 2007, the cyclone Sidor hit Bangladesh and leveled entire communities. What had happened is the area that was affected was completely devastated. Women and families who really had very little to begin with lost everything. Utilizing the training they had received from Humber, the Bangladesh Women's Chamber of Commerce was able to offer some assistance. Initially, it was in the form of capital goods. Jyotsna, for example, received a cow. She is able to milk it, sell the milk, and make some money for her family. Once the cow's calf is raised, she will be able to grow her business further. The area where people, people or especially women, are totally devastated, totally lost their houses, livelihood, livestock, and we could give them only some cow and goat, and, and their lives was changed. But the main thing was we gave them training. What Actor did as one of our core trainers, he went into those uh, areas and provided training. His ability, natural ability uh, for training was fantastic and he was very committed and dedicated to helping women uh, increase their livelihood, help them start businesses. They like their animals very much, as like as they like their children because it is uh, giving them milk and byproduct, and they can earn money through this rearing. What they actually do, just they are taking care of animals, they are touching it, uh, they are feeding it. They are very near to their animals, but they don't know. That's the way to check whether it is being unhealthy or it is being infected. For an example, I can say you that if I touch animal, and if I care it, and if I, uh, if I love it, when the uh, uh, hair, body hair, will be shed off, just as soon as I touch it, it's the primary sign that my animal has been infected with worms. Human uh, touch was very much there, um, because it was uh, mainly developing the capacity of micro rural entrepreneurs. We were confident because we had a uh, training with uh, Humber and we could always say, whenever they were saying that, what strength do you have to give training? And we always said we 
have a partnership with Humber. One thing we do use a lot of in this project are Humber students. Our interns, basically we recruit them and we send them overseas for three to six months. They are key to making this project happen. I wanted to be in the field, I wanted to have that connection with the people, like I wanted to interact directly with the people on the ground. So for me, Humber was what gave me that, you know, that insight into what needs to be done on the ground. I started to make friendships. I lived with a local family. I just got to understand their way of life. I got to their food. Their food became my food, my diet. By the time three months was up, I felt like I wish I had more time. I can't thank my lucky stars enough that I found it because this was exactly what I needed. I want to work in the field and give you all hands-on experience as far as project management, project design, proposal writing, disaster management, everything practical. Coming from such a different country, but the way they have adjusted with us in this country is unbelievable. That also gives us sort of a motivation that, you know, that uh, uh, people from developed countries are coming to our countries to support us. And uh, these young uh, uh, interns who have so much uh, <coughs> the courage and also sacrifice to do something for, for, for the people. We never thought that these two people, group of people who are a Western and Eastern and, uh, and from a developed country and from, from a least developed country would merge into one goal. I think about it all the time. I think about the people I met there. They work so hard and they're so their, their chance of opportunity is so different than mine and it's sometimes I struggle with the knowledge of how different our lives are. At the same time that's that guilt is the inspiration to to never forget that and to go back or go somewhere else and do whatever I can to do my bit to help try and create positive change. Mm -hmm.